Well, to say this weekend has a lot going on related to Kraft Hockeyville game is a little bit of an understatement. This morning, Ansley Watson is at a Lakeview Arena giving us a rundown of some of the events they've got. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. Well, there's definitely no excuse to say that you don't have anything going on this weekend because trust me, there's plenty going on, especially revolving around Lakeview Arena and the Kraft Hockeyville USA game that's taking place against the uh, Buffalo Sabres and the Carolina Hurricanes. So starting tomorrow morning, there's a 5K run slash walk outside of the Lakeview Arena beginning at 9. After that, there's a celebration. Later that evening, there's a red carpet gala at the Marquette Commons. You don't want to miss out on heading into Sunday. Then there's a lot taking place at NMU in the Barry Events Center, plus the fun fair in the Superior Dome. Don't want to miss out on that. Then Monday morning, there's a great food packing event taking place at the Marquette High School. We'll be speaking more about that later on as well. Plus a parade and barbecue. Then finally, we get to Tuesday where the preseason NHL practice will be taking place and the game, of course. So stay with us. Of course, if you have any other questions, you can go over to Lakeview Arena's Facebook page to answer any of those questions as well. Stay with us, guys. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Ansley. It's going to be busy out there. And, you know, we were thrilled because, so you know, Lakeview Arena is close to the public. So we were so great, grateful that they would allow us to go in and get one final look at the ice before yeah. the NHL does their magic. Wow. Absolutely That's great. incredible. I'm yeah. blown away with all the events oh, that they have. It's so fun. You got tickets to the game, didn't I you? I did get tickets yeah. to the game, and I plan <laughs> on participating in a lot of the activities. Good it's stuff. sound great. I know. And we've got great weather for so much of it. Welcome back. Kraft Hockeyville preseason game between the Buffalo Sabres and Carolina Hurricanes coming up Tuesday in Marquette. That's right at Lakeview Arena. Now, those who've been involved throughout the whole journey have done their part. Ansley Watson joins us this morning to tell us about what's going on this weekend. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. Yeah, a huge shout out to everybody who's helped organize this whole entire thing. The game on Tuesdays going to be so great and people worked very very hard for this. Joining me this morning is Mark Janowski and he's the race director. A great race taking place tomorrow morning actually. Yes. What is this race that we are speaking of? So the race is a run for Lakeview 5k. It's a uh, it's sponsored by OBGMY Associates and Marquette and it's just a, a race to celebrate hockey for one but uh, raise money additional funds for Lakeview Arena through Friends of Lakeview, a 501c nonprofit that's formed since Hockeyville. Uh, we won Hockeyville. So people can come to Lakeview Arena tonight to pick up packets, right? Yep. From 6:30 to 8, we'll be picking up. Pack, it will be packet pickup if you registered online. Uh, people can also come and do uh, a registration if they um, haven't registered. There'll be paper registration available there too. And can they still register online? No. Well, they can't register for this race, but there is the virtual race that they can register through October 4th. But. Uh, online is closed for this race. Talk more about that. What's the virtual so race? So the virtual race is, uh, again, OBGYN Associates are sponsoring that. Um, what it is is just a virtual race, and it's kind of the latest craze in running, where you can uh, sign up for a race, you can run a 5K or walk a 5K. Um, once you do that, you um, you post a picture online, or you don't have to post that, I suppose. But uh, And then a week or two later, you'll get a, a medal in the mail, a commemorative medal uh, showing that you uh, supported Lakeview. And where does the race take place? Where do they run towards? Uh, the race will take start in the front of Lakeview Arena. We'll run towards uh, on the bike path towards Picnic Rocks, you know, Lighthouse, McCarty's Cove, and they'll turn around uh, just before um, uh, the Lower Harbor, and then run back, following their, retracing their steps, and then run around Lakeview, and then it will be um, end in the parking lot here. So that begins at nine, but then after all those races. What do we have next? 10:30 post race celebration. What's all that about? What can people come and see there? So what we have there is, uh, you know, at 10 o'clock we'll have the Queen City Running One Mile Youth Run, which you know on race day people can come reg register for both races. The post race celebration, uh, we'll have live music, which actually will be down here all day. The live music starting with the race. Uh, we'll have lots of games and stuff for kids and uh, people to enjoy. There'll be raffle baskets, silent auctions. Um, and uh, there'll be food vendors and stuff too, so people can come down here, kind of hang out. This is also the first time people can pick up their ticket if they won that in the lottery. So, uh, with that being said, we'll have merchandise for sale if you haven't had any uh, Hockeyville merchandise, uh, like the shirt I'm wearing now is an example of something can, they can buy. And then later that evening, let's look here, what time yep. for the gala? 5.30, what's happening there? So that's, uh, that's the uh, Red Carpet Gala. You know, they've got some guest speakers, Dallas Drake, who uh, played here at Northern Mission, and Brad May, who played for the Buffalo Sabres. I uh, will be guest speakers there, but it's um, 
Um, it will take place that evening at the Commons in Marquette. It will be a tented environment. It will be um, you know, heated and stuff in case the weather is a little bit uh, rainy or whatever. Uh, but it, sh it should be a pretty big event and people can actually get um, uh, tickets at eventbrite.com if they look that online. Okay, great. Well, that is just tomorrow and there's so much more taking place throughout the rest of the weekend. Stay with us. We'll have more details for that. When we come back, reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right, thank you very much, Ansley. Definitely an exciting weekend out there. Yes. A lot going on. Were you sitting here taking notes on yes. all of that? It really <laughs> happened. Very you. Busy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, for those and who welcome like back to the Kraft Hockeyville USA NHL preseason game, days away, but there are so many things leading up to that. Ansley Watson has a sneak peek at Lakeview Arena to tell us more. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. Look at this place. Doesn't it look great? It's really, really coming together. I've been told that a few more things that need to come in here before the big game. But other than that, it's looking good. Joining me this morning is Mark Janowski, and he's the race director for the 5K that's taking place tomorrow morning. Yes. The Tell us more about that. Okay, the Run for Lakeview 5K um, is sponsored by OBGN and YS Associates of Marquette. Uh, that will start at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. We have the packet pickup at uh, 6.30 to 8 tonight over in the uh, Olsen of the Lakeview Arena. Uh, people, if they haven't registered, they can also show up tomorrow or tonight to register with paper registration, which you picked up yours. So are you running? I, I am going to run. Perfect. So we got one more for the race. <laughs> um, also tomorrow morning from 7.30 to 8.30, you can register as well. Um, the race starts at 9. That's uh, the 5K. And then at uh, 10 o'clock will be the uh, Queen City Running Company Youth Run. Um, that will be at 10 and following that we'll have the award ceremony and then um, we'll have the post rate celebration. Okay, so in the last interview we kind of talked about Saturday's um, events taking place. Let's move on then to Sunday. Let's talk about the fun fair. That's taking place at the Superior Dome. Yep, that will be at the Superior Dome and the Stanley, Stanley Cup will be there so people can get a picture what? with their cell phones and face, uh, put on Facebook that they uh, uh, took a picture with the Stanley Cup. Um, there'll be bounce houses, slides, face painting, just all kinds of stuff. There'll be uh, special NHL alumni appearances as well and there will be free uh, craft food samples. So it would be a great time to bring your family down and it's all free. And that's another time to pick up your ticket if you won. Yes, Correct. yep, yep. So you can pick up your ticket there as well as the run for Lakeview on Saturday morning. All right, now Monday morning, a really, really cool, neat thing taking place on Marquette Senior High School. It's a Stop Hunger Now food packing event. What's this about? So that's for, uh, it's uh, through Kraft, it's for third world countries, uh, basic meals. Uh, what the goal is they're going to have 350 students uh, take uh, shifts of, in periods, so three different periods mm -hmm. kind of with the hockey theme. And the goal is to uh, uh, make 25,000 meals. Wow. So that's great. And that's taking place during their school day then. Yep. That says eight, between 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Yep. So. And the, the market uh, school system has been very uh, good about uh, getting students and stuff. They're all on board with this, so it's been great. Absolutely. Then later that evening, I see a parade taking place along with the barbecue at the Commons yes. afterwards. Yes. So the parade will start at uh, 6 p.m. That will go down, uh, start at the Barry Event Center parking lot, go down Pine Street. Street, the fair up there or yeah up third street and end at the commons where there'll be a community cook cookout and we have a food for enough probably about th a thousand people and the kind of foods has donated a lot of that food so it's great that they've really helped out with that so. absolutely then we move on to tuesday a big day tuesday. what can we expect from tuesday tuesday's gonna be great i mean this is what we've been planning for you know for months and months here and this is what all the voting's come down to we're going to have mm -hmm. the NHL game, of course, that evening in the morning, we're going to have the practice skate. If you're lucky enough to get a ticket for one of the uh, events there, you, you can come down. And actually, you can come down anyway. At 10 o'clock, there'll be a red carpet entrance where you can get autographs from the NHL players. So, you know, I know it's school time and stuff, but bring your kids down. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, is there anything else you'd like to say about this? Uh, no, I, I think that's good. Just come down, support the cause. All proceeds will go through to Lakeview Arena. Okay, like I said, we're reading off this event list. You can see this exact same event list on Lakeview Arena's Facebook page, so go there and check out for more information. Reporting live, Marquette, Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 Morning News after the break.